안녕하십니까 사와디캅 수스다이 나마스테 Beloved brothers and sisters, how are you? One year has already passed since the corona pandemic crisis begun. How difficult has it been for you to do your work toward completing the providence of restoration in an environment where you couldn't manage your daily life properly? I'm sure it has been challenging and you are exhausted. Please let's give each other a round of applause. We will surely overcome these difficulties and be victorious. As you, I would like to thank the regional president for the Asia Pacific Region 1, Reverend Damian Dunkley, and Asia Pacific Region 2, Reverend Masai Chori, who has been offering his sincere devotion and the numerous leaders and blessed family members who are working hard in preparation for Vision 22-7. Today, I would like us to take some time to reflect on the question, where am I standing? As we attend our true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind advancing toward vision 20 to 7, we are hopeful looking forward to upcoming rallies. Through today's Chamber works, I hope we will set a condition to mobilize the absolute good spirits. We have many challenging tasks facing us to bring about the establishment of a heavenly unified Korea and heavenly unified world to mother reorganize the movement internally and externally and is continuing to hold online rallies of hope, conveying the right of hope to human humanity. Let's give a big round of applause to true mother who is showing the way that humankind must go and who love us any, love us more than anyone else. <laughs> Today, we are facing the spring of the providence after the fall of the first human ancestors, Adam and Eve. Now, after 6,000 years of restoration history, for the first time, we are experiencing the spring of the providence. There is a lot of work to do in the spring season, so we have to sow seeds and work diligently. Beloved brothers and sisters, what kind of heart do you have as you go through your everyday life? The time that we are given each day is very precious and cannot be exchanged for anything else. Isn't this a great privilege and blessing? We are the ones who were called first in this era to meet and live with our true parents. Even though our current circumstance may be poor and shabby, our blessed family have a unique value that is unequaled by anything in the world. Dear, respect family members, True parents have shared with us about the importance of the time that we are given every day. You have no idea how important this time is. Use every moment carefully. You are alive at this time, but how are you going to use your time and your life? For whom are you going to use them? If you use them well, you could become a hero or a heroine. You can go down in history. You can become a filial child or even divine son and daughters. God is giving you everything freely. Therefore, you should become a useful professor for his desire instead of just sitting and listening to words. You should take action. If we want to restore this nation, we must establish goal and execute it, are you? That's right, brothers and sisters. This time we spend with true parents on earth today is the most important time in our life. It is a golden age that can never be replaced by anything else. At such an important time, it is very crucial to look back and reflect on where we are standing today. 
the place where we stand is very important. The providence of restoration means moving Satan's authority to God's authority of goodness. We need to experience God's heart, know His will, and live according to His will, and return joy to heavenly parents. We must always remember that we are on the path of providence of restoration to complete the idea of creation. In other words, we must remember that our attitude and our action are what determines a good or a better outcome. We must clearly recognize and be aware that the problem lies with ourselves and not with others. True parents have worked the unspeakable, unspeakably slowly past. It has always been a difficult past during the time of Japanese rule, the Korean War, and the Providence in the United States. True father encountered a lot of harassment and persecution and was put in prison. Why did the true parents choose to walk such a difficult path? Who did they do it for? You know, right? It was poor on worse people like us. It was for all of us here today, even though we are so unworthy. We must clearly remember that they walk in this path of restoration, a path filled with blood, sweat, and tears to comfort our heavenly parents and to save humanity. We must transform ourselves. We must be able to fully testify to true parents. Our heart must be filled with longing for true parents. The problem is not with true parents. The problem is with us, their children. A filial daughter or filial son is able to understand the heart of their parents. What kind of mindset do you live with? Take a moment to breathe and quietly examine how you feel. We have to do our best to see our true selves. Don't put up or avoid facing your true self. Take some time to reflect on yourself every morning and evening. Ask yourself, where am I standing? Reflecting like this will greatly increase the meaning and value of our life.
We must find the room in our heart to reflect on whether we are living the way true parents want us to live, whether we have escaped from Satan's dominion and are living a writ a right free from Satan's accusation. I hope that everyone here today will always be wise and remember to be grateful for the blessed life. We have with through parents. April is the month of blessing. When it marked the anniversary of true parents' holy wedding, true parents day, it is through the grace of the holy wedding of father and mother, thanks to true parents, that we can hear today as blessed families. I hope that all your wishes and hopes will come to pass in the eternal love and blessing of our true parents are you. We shall surely be victorious in the spring of the providence. No matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult challenges are, if we unite with true parents, we shall overcome. We, if we are one in heart with the substantial Holy Spirit, true mother will absolutely bring victory. Aju? Yes, Aju. We must continue with the restoration of the environment into a realm where we can live within the dominion of goodness as desired by God. This is a privilege and responsibility for all of us, the blessed families who have been called first. On the other hand, we cannot deny that we are still living in the satanic culture. We are standing with one foot on the satanic side and one on the side of goodness. Also, our bodies are controlled by the satanic realm while our hearts are on the side of goodness. Therefore, we must work harder to restore the environment. No one else can restore our people. This is our top priority for the sake of our descendants. Two parents clearly taught us about this. You should bless your parents and your grandparents on the earth, your ancestors in the spirit world, and your family and relatives. Centered on your clan, you should bless your descendants and save your ancestors who are in the position of Cain. If the way to blessing is broken, no one will save them. If you clearly know this and yet fail to carry it out, who will take responsibility? No one will. You have to take care of your own clan. Aju? Who else can represent the nation that we are belong to? If our country runs into a problem, nobody else can solve it. Only we can take care of it. Changing the external environment can take a lot of time. Our heart, however, can be corrected quickly if we can correct our attitude. That said, the mind can easily swing from time to time. But when we strive to live with true parents, at the center of our life, through a life of devotion and reflection, 
We will surely achieve good results. True parents said, if we just do a little bit more, we'll improve. They encouraged us, saying, blessing will come to those who take action. Dear beloved brothers and sisters, any Jung song that we offer sincere is never, never given in, a, in vain. When we offer our jongsong, we need to reach a place where we can say, Heavenly Parents, I did it. We face many difficulties, but I sincerely wish that we can, we all can work together with true parents until the end, stick together and continue to strive to give a little more each day until we emerge victorious. Now, we have to live with conscious and sincerity, sincerity that reach beyond self-centered individual thinking. We must find and embody the kind of heart that heaven desires and live our life with the cat, that kind of heavenly heart. Just as sucking baby long for its mother and is absolutely dependent on its mother as it growing up. Our blessed family are nothing without true parents. We must have absolute faith in true parents' world and be able to share tears because we miss them. It is my wish that we can all be happy and grateful every day as it peers through the difficulties with our simjong of longing for true parents. Once again, I would like to thank everyone participating today for your devotion and love. I pray that you will receive immense grace today. Thank you very much. 감사합니다.